Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. If you don't know me, I'm Hannah Dawson, owner and creator of Fitness Ministry, where I inspire women to love the skin they're in through faith, fitness, and food. And I do this by teaching you how to train with a purpose, eat with a purpose, and how to have faith through the process. Welcome to my competition vlog. This is my second vlog. I have lots to share with you guys. Um, how, why I've changed my competition date to my uh, workout today. We're going to be doing back and shoulders and just a little update um, to take you guys through what I'm doing, why I'm doing it. And um, if you have any questions, post them in the comments below. Don't forget to give me a like or um, a subscribe too if you want to be um, notified when I upload new videos uh, so you can follow my journey and you can follow me on social media as well at fitnessministry.ca on Instagram or Hannah Dawson on Facebook or Fitness Ministry on Facebook as well. And um, yeah, follow me on there. <laughs> morning guys so um yes i haven't done a video in a long time and that is because as you can tell my voice i've been sick this is round two so it's going on like a month of being sick with like one week in there of being better <laughs> so um a few new things that i wanted to share with you guys today i'm meeting with my coach to um he's going to put me through a workout session so i want to bring you guys um, into that and show you a bit of that as well as I have changed my competition date um, for a few reasons. One, um, I want to put on more muscle and in order to put on muscle I'm going to have to bulk. In order to do a successful bulk it's going to be anywhere between 10 and 12 weeks and my competitions in March. If I was to do the NPAA um, in March then I wouldn't, I just don't feel mentally prepared. I've been thrown off for a month because I've been sick. So um, I just let my coach know and there's another MPAA competition in June as well as I said, you know, if there wasn't, I would just do the normal show um, naturally still. Bring my best package to stage um, and that can only happen by, I have really nothing to cut. So I need to be putting on muscle. So um, today, so my carbs um, have increased, my calories have increased. I am gonna be um, higher amounts of carbs, so anywhere from 250 to 300 grams of carbs uh, a day, um, as well as my protein intakes higher and my fat um, is about the same. But um, so um, I'm going to be drinking BCAs and Carbian. Um, during my workout as well as before my workout um, I've started taking creatine and this is the um, mile prime mile prime creatine as well as I'm taking a post workout creatine and it is by all max and it's like our supplements I swear our pantry is more full of supplements than food where is it? Where is it? My husband said it somewhere. I don't know where it is. Hmm. He hit it on me. Anyway, so I'm going to be taking um, that as well as um, after my workout, I'll be taking protein, uh, protein um, shake, but not a full scoop. I'm only doing half a scoop because I'm also going to be having two Sour Patch Kits or uh, Sour Keys. The reason for this is I've been doing my research, you guys, on building muscle and pre and post um, food and how uh, glucose gets into your bloodstream the fastest. And um, I think I said that right if I don't. Um, anyways, so sugar, this is the fastest way that it can get into my bloodstream um, and go into my muscle glycogen stores. You have like a 30 minute window and that is it. So um, they say anywhere between um, 30 to 60 carbohydrates post-workout maximum, uh, just so you don't get sluggish, but 40 of those, 30 or 40 of those to be like instant like corn, corn um, syrup, dextrose, like sugar, straight up sugar that's like dissolves instantly. And then the other things can be like, you know, your post-workout meal, eggs, potatoes, um, chicken, 
I don't know, bagel, something like that. Uh, so just a little bit of protein because that, that sugar is going to push it right into my, into my muscle glycogen stores. And that is the key. Um, I don't know if I'm saying all this right, but that's kind of what I've been reading and researching how to really build my muscles. So that is what today is. We are going to be um, training back and shoulders today. Um, so you guys, um, this was the thing I was trying to explain in the beginning. I just, I'm going to read it to you guys because I can't remember how to say all these things. I've been doing my homework, um, reading about um, my body doing it for myself this time and not really following what other people do. I'm just, I'm learning, listening to my body. Anyways, I just want to share this with you. According to Jim Stop, Stop Pani, PhD doctor of exercise and physiology, you should eat gummy bears immediately after your workout. Fast digesting carbs hit your bloodstream quicker, causing insulin spike. Fast digesting carbs are ideal after a workout. That is one of the main reasons why I recommend opting for the gummy bears, stop any stop panny states on his website. By eating gummy bears or another high glycemic carb like instant oatmeal, you rapidly replenish the glycogen you exerted during your workout. The sugar rush will also increase your insulin level, and when your insulin level increases, the peptide hormone attaches itself to the specific receptors on the muscle cell, creating a free way for other nutrients like amino acids, creatine, and the almighty protein to enter directly into the bloodstream. Take your high glycemic carb first, then your post-workout supplements, and feed your body faster with this trick. I'm not sure how gummy bear chocolate peanut butter banana protein shakes may taste but we may we may be on to something so I just wanted to share that with you guys however I was just reading that you could have oatmeal and I've been picking sour keys but here's the thing if you're a type of person that craves certain carbohydrates right after your workout is the time to have them um, and you can have them guilt-free. It says like your body will instantly use it. It helps um, shoot um, your protein into your muscles so that it repairs those fibers that you have just beat up in the gym. So you guys, I just wanted to share that tip really quick with you um, and uh, take you along this journey of me actually putting on muscle and um, you know, uh, some of the things that I, that I have to go through as a woman to do this naturally. Um, so yeah, guys, I just, yeah, if you have any comments or questions, put them in the comments below. If you would like to see me do any, um, videos on certain things you have questions about, write them in the comments below and I will do, um, like my supplements I'm taking and why I'm taking them and what they do. We could do a video like that, but put them in the comments below. All right, you guys, I love you all and enjoy the workout. Hold those muscles, hold it. Good. Three more. Good. Four more, one. Two. Hold it. Slow. Good. Set a little lower. Good. Pull. Good job. Stretch, hold it, stretch. Stretch it as far as you can. Three more. Two more. Hold it, go slow. Feel the stretch. Good job. Yeah. 
shoulder focus. Good job. Good job.